We had some icy conditions this morning, so let's check in with meteorologist Scott Haney to see what we can expect for the rest of the day. Scott? All right, Jill Gilardi joining me in the early morning forecast center this morning and need a little help, and I got it, and I'm so yeah. appreciative of that. I'm glad to be here. Thanks anytime, for coming in. Anytime. Beautiful I, pictures behind us. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty sometimes, you know, the ice uh, until it gets too heavy, and especially until it gets on the roads. All right, take a look at Teresa, what she sent in. Teresa Bush from Winchester. So thank you so much for the photos into Weather 3 at WFS. Speed.com. You can see the branches coated up in the ice. And we just heard from Audrey. Audrey yeah, she's uh, driving back from uh, the Norfolk area. She says it's now sleeting. So what we're seeing with that, uh, the purple precipitation, it is a mixture of freezing rain and sleet. And that is all sliding eastward. So if you're experiencing a lull, well, it may not last very long. But yeah, the purple could be an indication of some of that frozen precipitation of the Simsbury area. And Granby, also Stafford and Union, and a little burst of some wintry weather. Again, this is the icy stuff that can make it really uh, impossible at times to travel over. But thankfully, this morning we haven't heard of any Thank big goodness, issues. Thank goodness, Knockwood, right? All right. right. So Bloomfield East, Hartford, Hartford, you can see the plain old rain there. But uh, you know, it might be mixing in with a little bit of sleet pellets or even some freezing rain. So just exercise caution. And you get a little bit of a lull along the shoreline. That winter weather advisory is in effect for our northern counties, all four of our northern counties. As you can see here, uh, Hartford, Tolland, Wyndham, Litchfield counties. And here are your headlines. This icy mix continues for this morning, particularly in northern Connecticut. Slick conditions in northwest and northeast Connecticut and wet elsewhere. This afternoon, we're concerned about this afternoon because there could be some freezing drizzle which is not good. So it's going to be in kind of an unsettled day of weather. Drizzle, which is really hard to pick up on our Doppler, but nonetheless, it could land on the ground, freeze on contact, and create some slick spots. And then tonight, another little brief wintry mix rolls in, and that'll be particularly up in northern Connecticut. So this morning, we've got that icy mix for you in northern Connecticut, plain rain for the immediate shoreline. Jill, I'm loving this map. 31, 32, 33, 34. Crazy. Does it get any better than that? It's been staying that way for you for over an hour or two, right? Yeah, it's really, it's, in, it's incredible. Yes. So what else are we seeing here? Well, not incredible, but uh, we will see another little wave of moisture as we go into tonight. Now, in between that, you see clouds, but what you won't see again showing up on future casts is that potential for drizzle. So keep that in mind. And then one more push and one last surge of a little shower activity and then maybe a little uh, freezing rain or sleet across our northern counties. And then here comes winter cold. Here comes winter cold for Friday. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see temperatures dropping from uh, you're just, just, just going to get really cold out there. And by Saturday, we're talking about daytime highs only in the mid to upper 20s. And uh, it's going to be a cold day on Saturday. So let's take a look. Some of our eye cams across the state. Old Saybrook, the camera that never disappoints not disappointing this morning and here is our mystic eye cam joe we had a pretty good amount of rain there earlier it seems to have lightened up yeah the rain is uh, improving in terms of it uh, going away especially down across the shoreline uh, farther north we have more of the rain so again new haven is just like kind of dreary looking out there still some damp roadways 38 degrees and visibility wavering you see waterbury it's a uh, you know a mile and a half but most places uh, look pretty good all right let's take a look at the uh, temperatures out there right now little cause for concern up there in that northwest northeast portion of the state 31s and 32s then you jump to brainerd 36 and then you jump to new haven Again, 38 degrees as well as Groton, so that's pretty good. We are up from where we were 24 hours ago, anywhere from flat at Brainerd to 10 degrees above in New Haven. And the temperatures, I know they're precarious out there this morning and cold enough to support mixed precip, but at least they're above average. Typical overnight low is about 22 for this time of year. And right now, Jill, the winds are right out of the north-northeast. Yeah, and that direction will allow some of that cooler air to kind of ooze its way southward uh, later on today. So, again, that threat when we have drizzle could be freezing drizzle later on. All right, here's a look at the seven-day forecast uh, after today. Sunny tomorrow, windy, flurries on Saturday. Sunday looks good. Monday night into Tuesday is a time frame of concern. We will certainly keep you posted on that as the models continue to come on in. in the